Right, today we're going to do introduction to user inputs in Scratch. Part 1, ask block. So what is an ask block? One of the most easiest way to ask a user or prompt a user to actually input something and then take that piece of data and to reuse it, okay, is to do, use something called a, a ask block. And that's in the blue category, in the sensing category. So when you actually use this, you, uh, you, get, you, you prompt the user to actually enter, input something and you take the data and you can reuse the data. So once they actually write the answer, you can actually reuse it. And to do that, you have to use something called a, a answer block. An answer block is actually really is like a variable that you can actually use uh, to store the user's input, the data inside the variable called answer, and then you can actually reuse that. Okay, so usually a variable actually stores different types of data. You can have a string, you can have an integer. Okay, <clears throat> so if you're going to ask a question like, for example, do you uh, accept, then of course you expect the user to actually enter yes or no uh, uh, answer. So that's actually a string. Okay, so you can use this to actually ask this question and then we can use this uh, a conditional statement. Let's do conditional uh, if else statement, a conditional statement and use the blue Boolean uh, block to actually put that in, in, inside the uh, conditional st if statement. And when the user actually is asked that do you accept, so when the user actually enters, <clears throat> the, answer, the, the, the input, the user input, will be stored inside the uh, answer block. And you can actually compare the answer and when the answer is, if the answer is yes, then of course you can have confirmed and if the answer is no, then you say okay. 